everyone highlighted in red along the coast here should be on alert for king tides. If you're not familiar with this term, let's dive into it. So first of all, king tide, it's not exactly a scientific term, but many people use it to describe exceptionally high tides. So to understand king tides, we have to understand tides. Let's go over the basics. So the definition at its core, these are very long waves that move across the ocean and they're caused by gravitational forces, mostly between the earth and the moon, but to some extent, the sun. And actually with our king tides, the sun it comes into play a little bit more than usual. And overall, if you're not familiar with these terms, a high tide is when the highest point in the wave reaches the coast, it reaches the shore. The low tide is when the lowest point reaches the shore. There's usually one or two of these every day, depending on your exact location across the world. So let's talk about why this is happening right now, the king tide. So Overall, king or high tides are higher at the full moon, and we do have a full moon coming up October 6th. Mark your calendars. But not only is it a full moon, it is the harvest super moon. So breaking that down, the harvest moon is the full moon closest to the autumnal equinox. And then a super moon happens when the uh, moon appears larger and brighter because it's closest to the Earth. Also, at this full moon, the Earth the moon and the sun are kind of all in a line, which creates the gravitational forces for these even higher than normal high tides, even higher than at your typical full moon. Now, in this particular scenario, the onshore flow that's continuing, that worsens the situation overall. And ultimately, this can lead to some coastal flooding. So that's why these areas highlighted in red should be on alert and prepared.